Welcome to this poster pitch on index fund arrays, fund with indices. So why do we need something like index fund arrays? Well, it can be really convenient to think of um, functions like arrays. So a good example is RR, which is the distance to a particular position in uh, your array. So we have here an example there in the motivation. You can program this by hand using Cartesian indices. It will be quite efficient, but as you see, it's not super simple to write that. And what we want to do is provide convenience function that make that easy. Another way that you can achieve something similar is using mapped arrays, which is shown here, but it is not really much more convenient to write that as well, because you still need to write down these equations and it can be a little bit puzzling to do so. So in, in expand arrays, we provide lots of these functions already and they are fairly efficient to do. So the data structure behind it is actually very simple. So we, for the index fun array, we only store basically yeah, the element type and then the dimensionality and then the third fun, the like the third argument or the third type argument, which is some kind of generator function. So this generator function basically maps the index to a certain value, which can be a scalar value, which can be a string, so it can be anything. And also the index fun array stores the size like a normal array. And then we can also implement the base get index method for, for arrays. And instead of accessing some kind of memory, we really put the index into the generator function and via that we can on the fly calculate the value. So for example, we can here see the very simple hello array, which basically maps all entries to hello. And then we see, okay, all entries are hello. So we can access them like a normal array. Um, another one would be some kind of index fun array where you simply add the first index position and the second position. So this is usually the index one, one. So one plus one is two and so on and so forth. And yeah, similar to the example above, we can also write like a distance to corner. So we can put in any kind of functions as long as we yeah, access the X to according values. So in the first dimension and second dimension and in, via that we can calculate ba basically anything we want to have. So yeah, the really the bonus or the plus of our package is what we already defined. So we define a lot of functions like Gaussian functions, Hemming window, Henning, linear, but also distant functions like radius, radius squares, and 1D ramps. Okay, thanks.